could we potentially be seeing the Season 1 Battle Pass for Apex Legends released tomorrow? That is the question I am going to be attempting to answer in today's video. If you enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Apex content. We all know by now that the Season 1 Battle Pass is coming to the game this month, but could we be seeing it sooner rather than later? Rumours have been spreading around the internet about the possibility that the update to the game could be set to release on the 12th of March. News of this comes from a similar source that leaked the supposed headline addition to the game with Season 1, the new legend, Octane. This legend was leaked onto the subreddit by a source supposedly close to Respawn, but the post and information was taken down soon after. Despite this, many redditors had already saved the image and the legend was shared around the internet within a few hours. It has already been confirmed by Respawn that at least one new legend will be coming to the game along with the Season 1 Battle Pass, but that the legend will not be linked to the Battle Pass purchase. Instead, this character will be acquired through the same means as Mirage and Caustic, with either Legend tokens, earned in-game, or Apex tokens that you buy. If you are like me and you have played an unhealthy amount of this game since launch, you should probably have enough Legend coins to purchase this new character as soon as he launches into the game. That is, if he has a price similar to the current Legends. In the leaked Octane picture, it was suggested that he would look similar to the Borderlands Psychos and that he would move around the map faster, with abilities centering around mobility and a jump pad as his ultimate. Additionally, Octane's passive will allow him to regain health passively when outside of combat. On the leaked post, the Reddit user had also hinted that the Season 1 Battle Pass would release two weeks from now, around the 12th. This could mean that the Battle Pass would drop tomorrow, or at least sometime in the next week. Respawn have confirmed that the pass will come in March, and that there will be a new character due at the same time, so this could well mean that we are going to see the update come tomorrow. Further data mining into the current game code has hinted at other potential updates that could be coming to the game with the Battle Pass. A Twitter post from Apex Legends News and Leaks has shown that in the game code there is already a separate button option in the main game menu for the Battle Pass, and that the Battle Pass bonuses will include skins, potentially similar to the Epic Games Battle Pass that is present in Fortnite. Whether you love or hate Fortnite, it's hard to deny that Epic Games made a successful system for maintaining players' interest consistently with their game, and if Respawn hope to ensure the longevity of the game, then this is surely a route that they should hope to incorporate. In addition to this, it would be fun to see Fortnite-style weekly challenges that could potentially reward either Apex coins or crafting materials. The reward of a small number of crafting materials for each one has been requested by players since the early days of the game, and if this were to become incorporated with the Battle Pass challenges, this could be a welcome addition. Other data mined information has suggested that there is a potential for a night mode currently in the game. This would certainly be a welcome update for players, and would add variety into the map that we have all come to know and love. Unconfirmed potential additions to the game are the other rumoured legend named Watson, a flamethrower, and a remote turret weapon. These could potentially be combined together with either the turret weapon or flamethrower being part of Watson's kit. Whatever happens, I'm excited for the release of the Battle Pass. I'm still loving this game, and the addition of more content just a month into its release would be amazing. Finally, I would love to see the addition of solos and duos into the game with the Battle Pass, but there is little to no rumours of this coming to the game thus far. Apex Legends has enjoyed an amazing success so far, and has had over 50 million players since its launch a month ago. The addition of Battle Pass content this early into the game's life can only be a good thing for the longevity of the game. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more Apex Legends videos. I appreciate you watching and hope to see you again here soon.